Jason, you're quite familiar with the number system called decimals, right? Yeah. You use it all the time. And here's a typical number in decimal. What does the four stand for? Four, four ones. And the seven? Seven tens. Right. And the three? Three hundred. Right. So it's a very quick method of writing fairly high numbers. Well, as you know, the computer can't read decimal numbers like that. You've heard about what it uses? Yeah, it uses something called binary. Right. That means that there's only two positions of a switch, either on or off. That's why it's binary. Yeah. And here are the switches. Okay. That's a switch for one, for two, for four, for eight, and 16. Down here, are, I put the decimal numbers. Okay. So zero, no switches on at all. Right. Now, if you want to turn on number this switch, that would stand for one. For one. Can you put on the, turn on the switch for two? Sure. Okay. Like that? Now turn on the switch for three. For three? There is no three. No. But you could turn on. Oh, I can turn on one and two. Right. Now four should be easy. Yeah. Just turn on the next switch, right? Right. Five. Well, four and one. And six. Four and two. Two. Seven. One and two is three plus four is two. Okay, now you can see why they jumped from four to eight. Yeah. Because you filled up all this row, right? Mm -hmm. So eight is simple. Turn on one switch. Like that. Okay, now nine. Whoops, wait a bit. Yeah, okay. It's like and very good nine and one. one. And so on. And then you'd repeat this. And as soon as you ran into what, number 15, you'd put a, one 16. checker on for 16. And right. off you'd go. Now, the question that I often have wondered is why do they use such a cumbersome system? Look at all these switches yeah. they have turning on and off when, when the decimal system is so <laughs> much easier. Yeah. The reason why they do is because even though it's a rather cumbersome system, the computer can do it very, very fast. Oh. Very, very fast indeed. In fact, I have them set up on the computer. Come over here and take a look at the rest of the binary numbers. You got up to what, nine? Yeah. Okay, push the down arrow and the repeat over there and you can run through a whole bunch of them. Okay, so that's... It's already at 16, right, down at the bottom? So, there wow. they go. There they go. Yeah. You can see how the switches... Yeah, hit, hit. Okay, re re repeat and keep going. Okay. Wow. There you go. Yeah, you can 78. see... You can, going now. you can see how 89. the... You see the pattern develop? Yeah. You see, obviously, this one comes up. Oh, there's a new one. Yeah, oh, 128. there's a new row. Right. right. The new 128. So it's going through those relatively quickly. Yeah. But the other thing that I wanted to show you is how fast it can read them. Okay, stop for a minute. Okay. Do a control U. Okay. And then G. Now we're going to find a number. And see, there's 497 up there? Yeah. Okay, if you push escape, watch how fast it goes through those to find the 497. Go ahead. Okay. Page oh, two, yeah. page Is three, four, five, fast? six, seven, eight, page nine. There it is. See it? There it is. And right there's the, the binary representation of four, um, 497. Obviously, it's a one, and then 16, 32, yeah. and so forth and so on. Anyway, this, I just thought you'd kind of like to um, be introduced to the binary, even yeah. though when you work with computers, you don't pay any attention to it at all because it's mm -hmm. the language of the computers. But you ought to know at least that this is what it's handling. Every time you type something, even the letter A, it's changed first into a decimal, and that decimal is changed into binary numbers like that oh. for use by the computer.